mathematicians, do you sometimes like to play detective and try to solve some problems? You do? I do too! Well, you know, today, as mathematicians, we're going to do a little bit of that exact same thing. Because as mathematicians, we can use different things in order to help us solve number stories. You may be thinking, what is a number story? Do you know? Tell me, what's a number story? Oh my goodness. Yeah, a number story is a story about something or someone or people. And there's usually a problem. And it has to do with numbers. And you get to kind of be a detective to try to solve the problem using numbers. Well, I'm thinking you're ready. I'm going to have you pause this for just a moment because I want you to make sure that you either have a piece of paper and something to write with or a whiteboard and something to write with and some kind of counter. It could be cereal. It could be blocks. All right, are you ready? Okay, hit the pause button and go grab those really quickly. Okay, are you ready? So mathematicians have materials just like detectives have things, right? And detectives listen very carefully to stories and they think like, who's in the story? What's going on? What's the problem? Mathematicians do that too. So you know what? I'm going to tell you a story. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to think, what's going on in this story? Who is it about? What's the problem? Okay? Listen. It says, Devon was snack helper. He carried three apples to the table. Then he got two more apples. How many apples does Devon have now? Okay, so I'm going to think, who is this story about? Davon. Mm -hmm. And he's got some apples. So he had some apples, and then he got some more apples. What are they trying to help want us to solve? Oh, yeah, how many does he have now? Okay, you know, I think I'm going to listen to it again. And I might even, I might even use some counters as I'm listening. Okay, let's see. Davon has, was the snack helper. He carried three apples to the table. I'm picturing it. Then he got two more apples. How many apples does Davon have now? Okay, I am going to, I'm going to do this. So he had three apples. I'm just going to use my counters. I'm going to do one, two, three. Okay, and then it said he had two more. One, two. And then it says, how many apples does he have now? I think I'm going to count them all together, don't you think? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. I think he has five apples now. Oh my goodness, great work. You know, I'm thinking we could actually have acted that out. Like we could have pretended like we had apples. So he had three, one, two, three, and then he had two more. So I could have just counted on four, five. Interesting. You know, now that I think about it, it almost makes me think I could have also drawn that. Yeah, like I could have done three apples, and then he had two more, and then I could have just counted it. Do you see how I did that? Hmm. So this makes me think that as a math detective, or just a mathematician, that we can use tools like we just did to try to solve these number stories. And we listened and then we talked it out a little bit. We used counters as one way. We 
acted it out as another way. We drew it as another way. All of those sound like they can work for any number story. Well, you know, let's listen to one more story. And look, I even added in a tens frame and a number line. You could even choose to use one of those. But as mathematicians, we're going to listen to this story and then we're going to try to figure out what is it that we're supposed to do and how can we help solve that? Are you ready? This morning, some squirrels were playing in my yard. Four squirrels were in a tree and two were burying acorns. How many squirrels were there in all? Okay, so I need to think, who is this story about? Squirrels, they're in my backyard and they have, they have acorns. Okay, I'm gonna read it again because I gotta figure out what the problem is. This morning, some squirrels were playing in my yard. Four squirrels were in a tree. Two were bearing acorns. How many squirrels were there in all? Okay. I have to decide, am I gonna use my counters to think through this? I could use my number line could draw a picture, I could act it out. What are you gonna do? Okay, you try one of them, I'm gonna try another one, and then let's see what we come up with. I'm gonna read it again. This morning, some squirrels were playing in my yard. Four squirrels were in my tree, and two were in the yard. Burying acorns. How many squirrels are there in all? What'd you come up with? I came up with six also. Okay, don't laugh at my picture. But I've got one, two, three, four in the tree, and then I've got one, two over here, and I counted four, five, six. Somebody may have done one, two, three, four, five, six or they did the four in the tree and then two burying the acorns. Look at how we did that. You may have done it another way. You know, as mathematicians, we're kind of like those detectives. When we hear stories, we first can listen and think. We could even talk to a partner and then choose how we could figure it out. We could act it out, we could draw, we can use counters. Mathematicians, as you go today, I hope that you will remember that no matter what number story you come across. Off you go.